Hello and welcome to problem number one on the condition of probability. Um, it asks to draw a tree diagram here for these two spinners. So our first spinner is this one, and that could be one-fourth for these, or one-half for this. So I've got one-fourth, one-fourth, and one-half. This is one-half. These are each one-sixth, because six of those pieces would be making up the whole circle. So we could have red, green, blue, and yellow, one-half on red, one-sixth for everything else. So this is problem one, just making a tree diagram. Now it asks, what's the probability of getting the same color twice? We have to look at the paths where that could happen. You could do red and red, and if you want both two things to happen, you always need to do what to the numbers? Multiply the numbers. Multiply the numbers. Great, so one-fourth times one-half. We could get red, red, and that probability is one-eighth. Or we could go blue and then blue, so that would be blue, blue, multiply those, would be 1 24th, 1 6 times 1 4th. Or we could go green, green, which is 1 half times 1 6th, so green, green is 1 12th. Can I go yellow, yellow? No, because there's no yellow here, right? But the problem asks, what's the probability of getting the same color twice? So really, what that asking, probability of the same, is really, it could happen with red, red, or blue, blue, or green, green, right? And what do you have to do with numbers, with probabilities, when it's or? Add. So the red, red was, we said, was 1 eighth, plus the blue, blue, which is 1 24th, plus the green green, which is 1 12th, right? Now from here, we just have to add these fractions together. When you're adding fractions, you get a common denominator. A good common denominator might be 24. So if I multiply this by 3, and this one by, well, nothing, this is fine. This one by 2. Now I just add the tops, keep the bottoms the same. 3 plus 1 is 6, 6 or is 4. 4 plus 2 more is 6. So I have 6 24ths, that reduces to be 1 4th. So the probability of getting the same thing somehow is 1 out of every 4 spins. We're going to get the same color. Now this one's saying, if you know you got the same color twice, what's the probability it was red? So this is a conditional probability. This is asking, what's the probability if it's red if you know that it's the same? Right? We have a formula for this conditional probability. It's this, both of these together, probability of red and the same, divided by the second one, probability of being the same. This is the formula we're going to use. A given B means A and B over B. Now, this is really very easy once you have it set up. We already calculated the bottom, probability of being the same, Red given the same. We already did this up here. We just found that that was one fourth. Right? And out of the ones where they were the same, which ones were they the same and red? Well, that would be right here where they were the same and red. So that is one eighth. So we have one eighth divided by one fourth. And the only issue here is now remembering how to divide fractions. When you divide 1 eighth divided by 1 fourth, remember that means that we need to flip the second one and multiply by that reciprocal. So then we have tops times tops, bottoms times bottoms, 4 eighths reduces to be 1 half. So if I told you, hey look, I spun the same thing, pretty good chance it's red, right? 50% of the time, it's going to be red, red. The other 50% of the time, it's going to either be blue, blue, or green, green. That's what that conditional probability means.